Recovery photography after many years of being passionate about arts, the design industry and painting. It took me about a year or two of uh, experimentation with different types of photography before I found my niche. When I started off, I was interested, like everyone, in uh, landscape, photography, flowers and portraits. However, something still drew me into street photography. I think it was the fact that people and their stories have always fascinated me. I can say that photography has been a fantastic way to grow up faster and to get to know myself. Photography is a reflective experience, a form of self-knowledge. This obsession is uh, probably because street photography is closer to my heart. It defines me. I enjoy doing it because I don't need to plan before sh every shooting. I only go on the street when I feel and when I'm only in, in the right mood. I like people. Street photography is a good way to get to know better the human nature. The most important thing is to be synchronized with the characters you shoot and anticipate what will come in the next second. However, to succeed the photographer needs to have experience. Street photography can be compared with a sport. You always need to practice your eyes. Everything is spontaneous. Street photography is about the decisive moment, being in the right place at the right time. Every second can change a story. I don't force anyone to have a specific interpretation of my images. Everyone has a unique way of seeing the world. This is the best part of photography, the moment when you find what viewers think about your work and compare with your ideas. I don't have a specific interest, usually shot what captures my intention. However, there are mo some key techniques. I always take in consideration such as the composition. Sometimes I like to combine street photography with uh, some architectural elements. In other words, the only subject that interests me the most is the street, because if I have street, I have everything I want. In what concerns the editing part, I use it, but only the basics. Shooting street photography in black and white versus color are two different uh, ways of working. For example, when I'm shooting black and white, I'm looking for different things. I generally look for light, shadows, reflections, form, geometries or shapes. When shooting in color, I look for color. If I see someone wearing interesting clothes and they match to my composition, I use color photography. I try to think how color can add something new to my image. The tricky thing is that shooting color can often be distracting and is more difficult for me. Black and white helps me to be more focused on the story. When I get on the street, I put my invisible mask and start shooting. It means that I need to get into the character's story without being noticed. My impulse to photograph is determined by emotion. Sometimes I have a good day when I can get quickly inspired or days when I cannot shoot under no circumstances. My mood always reflects on my pictures. This is why every picture we take always has a dosage of subjectivity. For me, street photography is an open book, which always prepares me in new challenges and new stories. It is a book without end, always fulfilling my heart with its interesting moments and emotions. And moreover, what fascinates me the most is the fact that the street of the photo photographs always betrays me. They say something indirectly about who I am, what I want, which is my way. Because sometimes words are not enough for me, photography easily replaces them. You can get to know someone pretty good by seeing his photographs.